The very first step is to install the tool that will allow us to run containers. This is very similar to installing Docker Desktop on a macOS computer. You install it and it's basically a graphical interface that allows you to run containers, download images, and a lot of different stuff. It includes a lot of tools like Docker Engine, Docker CLI, Docker Compose, Docker Build, and more. So with this new tool that Apple created, we don't need to install Docker Desktop anymore, and we can run containers directly on the terminal. On Linux servers, installing Docker is way easier. You just install Docker via this command using the convenience script, and that's it. I have this guide and a video that explains how to install Docker on Linux servers using this script. It's pretty simple. I'm going to leave it in the video description. So let's install the tool then. This is the video that talks about Apple containerization. I'm going to be following the official documentation. So I'm just going to come down here. I'm going to open these two links. Let's see what those are. Okay, so this is one of the tools. So this is not what I'm trying to do. What I'm actually trying to do is this, I think. This is the container tool. It's a tool that you can use to create and run Linux containers as lightweight virtual machines on your Mac. Okay, so apparently this is the one because what I'm trying to do is basically just run a container. Okay, I'm on Mac OS 15 and it says here that you can run it on Mac OS 15, but the container maintainers will not address issues discovered on Mac OS 15 that cannot be reproduced on Mac OS 26 beta. So at least in theory, it will run. Okay, so here's the installation instructions. I'm not upgrading, so this is not for me. Download the latest installer package from the GitHub release page. Okay, so let's do that. It seems that it's this one, which is signed, that package. So I'm just going to download this one. Okay, the file is downloaded. If I bring Trickster up, here it is. I'm just going to double click on it. It says here to install the tool, double click the package and follow the instructions. Enter your password. Okay, so let's do that. Continue here. Install. I'm going to type my password in here. Okay, so it's installing. The installation was successful. I'm just going to close this. Remember that this video is part of a playlist. If you're not following, go and check out the previous videos. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to support me as well to keep this channel going, you can consider becoming a member. I'm going to leave a link in the video description as well. I hope this video was useful and I'll see you in the next video.